Ever thought about what made the Roman Empire something that existed more than two millennia ago so impactful that its effects are still felt in today's world? Today, we embark on a captivating journey through time, exploring the pivotal moments of this once colossal empire. We start in the 8th century BC with the founding of Rome by Romulus, a tale steeped in myth and legend. Romulus, after a fierce disagreement with his twin brother Remus, emerged as the sole ruler, marking the birth of the Roman Kingdom. This event set the stage for the Roman Empire's rise, a nation that would eventually become one of the world's most powerful empires. Starting around the 5th century BC, we encounter the Roman Republic's establishment, a significant shift from monarchy to a more democratic form of government. This political evolution bore the seeds of the empire's future strengths, and its weaknesses. Rome had become the dominant power in the Mediterranean world, with control over vast territories stretching from Spain to Egypt. This period of expansion and consolidation laid the groundwork for the subsequent rise of the Roman Empire under the leadership of Julius Caesar. We are on the 1st century BC, time of civil war and unrest. It was during this tumultuous period that Julius Caesar, a name synonymous with power and ambition, rose to prominence. His reign, though short-lived, marked the end of the Roman Republic and the dawn of the Roman Empire. Caesar's assassination on the Ides of March in 44 BC was a turning point that shook the Roman world to its very core. Emerging from the chaos following Caesar's death, Augustus, the first Roman emperor, took the throne. A memorable moment took place on the Battle of Actium in 31 BC. It was here, off the coast of Greece, that Augustus's forces clashed with those of Mark Antony and Cleopatra, culminating in a decisive victory for Augustus. This pivotal moment marked the end of the Roman Republic and the dawn of the Roman Empire under the sole rule of Augustus. It solidified his position as the undisputed leader of Rome, and allowed him to consolidate power and establish a new era of stability and prosperity known as the Pax Romana. The Pax Romana, or Roman peace, was a period of relative peace and stability that lasted for over two centuries. Under the leadership of Augustus and his successors, the Roman Empire experienced a period of economic prosperity, cultural flourishing and territorial expansion. Fast forward to the 3rd century AD, a time of crisis and uncertainty. At the heart of the crisis was a series of civil wars, invasions by barbarian tribes, and the rise of powerful usurpers vying for control of the empire. Rome, once the pinnacle of power and civilization, now teetered on the edge of chaos. But from the ashes of crisis emerged a leader who would change the course of history, Emperor Diocletian. Recognizing the need for drastic reforms, Diocletian implemented a series of measures to stabilize the empire. But the challenges facing Rome were far from over. The empire was plunged into another crisis as rival claimants vied for the throne. It was in this turbulent time that Emperor Constantine emerged. He issued the Edict of Milan that granted tolerance to Christianity within the Roman Empire, effectively ending centuries of persecution of Christians. Constantine's conversion to Christianity marked a profound shift in the religious landscape of the empire and set the stage for Christianity to become the dominant religion in Europe. But Rome's glory was not to last. In 410 AD the unthinkable happened. Rome, the Eternal City, was sacked by the Visigoths under Alaric. This devastating event shook the Roman world to its core and signaled the beginning of the end for the Western Roman Empire. The once mighty empire was now vulnerable to barbarian invasions and internal strife. Finally we arrive at the fall of the Roman Empire in the 5th century AD, a moment that marked the end of an era. The once mighty empire crumbled under the weight of its own complexity, succumbing to a combination of internal decay and external pressures. The last Roman Emperor, Romulus Augustulus, was deposed by the Germanic chieftain Odoacer, marking the official end of the Western Roman Empire. Rome, once the center of a vast and powerful empire, was now a shadow of its former self. But amid the chaos and turmoil, one legacy of Rome endured, its laws. In 529 AD, Emperor Justinian I codified Roman law into the Corpus Juris Civilis, or the Justinian Code. This monumental work laid the foundation for modern legal systems and became a cornerstone of Western civilization. So why does the Roman Empire continue to fascinate us today? It's because these pivotal moments, from its founding to its fall, shaped not just a civilization but the entire world. Each turning point, each decisive battle and each political intrigue left an indelible mark on history, influencing everything from our legal systems to our architectural styles, reminding us of a time when Rome was the center of the world. 
Thank you for joining us on this journey through the pivotal moments of the Roman Empire. Don't forget to subscribe for more intriguing videos.